Alena here. Today we are going to work at Oversplit. Before we start, you have to remember the three don't. Don't push, don't rush, and don't get frustrated. Oversplit can be very complicated, very difficult for many of us, but with the daily practice, it's absolutely doable. The first thing is that you have to be warm up very well. You can find a yoga flow for specific for split in my YouTube channel, so if you want to go there and warm up with that, that would be great. And, uh, or you can just uh, do this video after your regular practice. The first thing is today we are going to work with the contraction and relaxation intervals. These are really effective to elongate the muscles and will help you to improve your oversplit and of course becoming more flexible. What you need are blocks, when, how many as you like, or a stool, a, a chair, whatever you have that can make you some height that you will have to you will have in your oversplit. Now before we start, we make sure that our splits are comfortable. So we start with the right leg. <coughs> My right side is really unflexible, inflexible compared to the left one, but we will try our best to work them equally, even if sometimes it doesn't feel like you want to do it. <laughs> so just be sure that your Split is comfortable and we stay here, we explore the hips, the hips are squared and then we look forward, the shoulders are facing forward and now we switch leg with the left one. Okay, this is much better, much, much better. So, shoulders are facing forward and the hips are squaring and we stay here. You can rock a little bit, so just to make the muscle warmer. And now we start adding some difficulty to our split. We start with one block. Always go gradually. Don't start with the tall or with the eye prop immediately. Just wait till your muscles are warm enough. So we stay here, try to take the arms away from the mat and we stay here a few breaths. The shoulders are far away from the ears and they are facing both forward. The hips are squared and the right hips should the right hip should be on the floor. Now we switch with the left leg. Okay. Again, we square the hips, the shoulders away from the ear, we look forward and we enjoy the stretch like this, a little bit forward and backward, we just explore what is happening in our hips. Okay, and now that we are comfortable with one block, we can add another block and so we have two blocks. You can make even a tower of block and if uh, for you one block today is enough, don't go any further. You have always time to put another block tomorrow or the day after. Just do what your body is telling you. Listen to your body. Don't push yourself and then you stay here with the two blocks a little bit, you explore 
the shoulders are facing forward, perhaps now you start feeling the challenge because it's challenging, it's almost like what is happening to my body is opening in a way that I never felt before. So just be here and then when you feel you want to switch leg, you switch with the left leg. This is my flexible leg so I'm very happy to switch. Again, here and be, be sure that your leg behind, the leg in back, the knee of the leg back is facing back, is facing the mat. Don't keep the knees open just because it feels easier. It shouldn't be like that. The hips should be squared and the knee of the leg backward is, should face the mat. Don't open the hips. Just keep them squared. The shoulders should be away from the ears and you just enjoy the stretch. Now, what you can do is continue with blocks. You can put three blocks, four blocks, five blocks, as many blocks as you can. I don't have as so many blocks, so I will use my yoga chair. I place my yoga chair here. And because now is a a little bit taller than before. I just start from a knee position. I try to feel very well and ready, warmed and ready. So if you want to do a forward fold and just check in with your with your leg and then when you are ready you just drop the hips and you stay here, take the hands away and you just enjoy the stretch for a few breaths. The shoulders are facing forward, you just have to relax here and let the gravity work for you. We can switch leg. This one was pretty tough. I, my right leg is really stiff compared to the left one. Okay, just prepare yourself, prepare your legs. Tell to them that they are going to be safe, nothing bad is going to happen to them. They are just going to stretch. And now you just try to slide down. The heel stay on the stool or in a, your block tower, wherever you have at your disposition. You can use a couch as well, no problem. And then you stay here a few breaths. Each breath you try to go even lower and make the over split even deeper. The shoulders are facing forward, the ears are far away from the shoulders and you stay here. Perhaps like with the left leg you can, in my case, you will sit and your hips will reach the floor. With the right leg I can't, but with the left one I can. And you just enjoy the stretch here. Then, when you are ready, you can bring both legs forward, lie down on your back, take the knee, toward your chest and rock the right to side, side to side, relax, everything is fine. Push your 
yourself up. And here we are. This is a, a simple way that you can use to improve your overspread. And don't worry if you can use the, the block sour immediately, just one day at a time, you will improve your hamstring flexibility and your overspread. Thank you so much for watching and if you like the video or you like more videos and more tutorial please leave me a comment in the comment section and I will be, uh, I will be happy to prepare them for you. Thank you so much for watching, see you soon!